This is a bit of a departure from the normal videos I do. Here we are hiding active formulas using two workbooks and the import range function. So no scripting, just using regular formulas. Here's the situation I have. And this is just a really simple example. The actual use case would normally be something way more complex. But here I just have a set of dollar amounts. And then I want to know how much Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Ethereum, I really don't know which way to pronounce it, Dogecoin and Flux with some sample exchange rates. So all this is saying is how much Bitcoin would I have for that much dollars? How much Ethereum would I have for that much dollars? How much Dogecoin would I have for $18,900, right? And again, these are very sample or fictional <laughs> even exchange rates that I placed here. Now, I can use this no problem, but I have seen situations where people want the actual formulas to be hidden. For instance, a shared sales document where every salesperson is going to have access to the entire document, but the different salespeople might have different compensation rates or where a user has a lot of somewhat proprietary formulas to perform their calculations for whatever that may be. And they want the user to be able to input values here and see the eventual output, but they don't want them to see all of this. You don't want to see, they don't want to show how the sausage is made as it were. For that, I've set up the second document. I'm calling this crypto conversion table formulas versus crypto conversion table source. Now, first, I want the exact same header format here. Next, I want that same table. And for ease here, I'm going to put them in the exact same place. Okay. Now, I want the inputs to come from this document and go to this document. So I'm going to use import range. The spreadsheet URL is this. I prefer to just use the ID. It's just shorter and still works. And the range string, this is a string, not just a range call is a two through a. Since I'm using import range, I do have to connect the sheets, allow that access. Great. Now here, I'm going to replicate, or in this case, copy over all of the formulas I already have here. Since I've already made them, it's actually really easy. So it's still, I'm on the formula sheet now, not the source, on the formula sheet, and I'm doing the same calculations here, but I'm doing them this time based on the data from the import range. Now, over here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all those, and I'm gonna delete this table. I want no calculations performed on this sheet. Over here, all of the calculations are performed, and then I want to put them back. So here, import range. Now I want this spreadsheet URL or ID. And the range string is B2 string, B2 through E. Just as before, I need to allow access. Import range accesses are not two-way. You do have to authorize them both ways. All right, I am getting the correct outputs for every input, but there is nothing actually, there are, there are no calculations performed here. The user cannot see what's going on. Obviously, in this case, you can reverse engineer that really, really easily, but that's not the point. This is a proof of concept that you can use two import ranges to hide the values. Now, two proofs here. First, let me come down here and add a new value. Let's say $5,600. If I come to the formulas, then it's out of the 5,600. And I just don't have this coming down all the way. So let's change that actually to array formulas. A2 if length A2 through A then a two through a divided by h two else nothing well that would do it excellent and let me just do that for all of them Formula if length a 
2 through A, A2 divided by H3, A2 through A. And finally this. Excellent. Now, we already saw that it was adding the 5600, uh, but let's go ahead and do that again so we can see the full process. It is populating them here. Let's say I have 900,000. Give me a lot. Then over here, it's going to add in the 900,000. And over here, the 900,000 divisions are going to work out. Secondly, I want to show this from a another user's perspective. So I obviously have permissions to both of these sheets. I could go ahead and make a new import range. I can get the actual stuff out of this, this other spreadsheet, but let me open up uh, just a incognito window here and go to the source. So using incognito window, obviously nothing's going to be open. Ah, let me change that to anyone. Secondly, I want to show how this looks for some other user, someone that's not me, the owner of this document. So let me change the sharing permissions to anyone with link can edit. Then I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to open up a incognito window so that it's not logged in or anything. And from here, I can go ahead and add, you can see me there. Hello. You can, I can go ahead and add, let's say 4,500. And it's going to take a moment for both those import ranges to update for it to update to the formulas and back to here, but we still see it updates. No problem. Now there is one security issue. If someone is really interested since the document, since the permissions for the import range are granted to the document, not to a user, it is possible for me to come here and do another import range. Start with this one. I can do another import range G2 through I. And it doesn't ask for the permissions again because the permissions were granted to the document, not to the user. Right, I'm not a logged in user, I can still get to those. So for most cases, this is probably enough security, right? There's already an import range there. Most people aren't gonna care. If you really care, there is a way. And what we need to do is create a third tab. So we are third document. So we have a source, we have a formulas. I'm going to do a new spreadsheet and I'm gonna call this Crypto conversion table middle step. Pretty generic what that's going to be. All this is going to do. Let me increase the size on this one. All this is going to do is be an import range of this. So it's, it's literally just a go between. So this is going to be this document the formulas document and my range string i'm just going to do a to a through z i want everything this is going to be a clone of the formulas document but without any formulas on it okay now on the source i actually don't want a full clone i want to avoid those so this is actually going to just be A through E. Great. Now on the source, I can change this spreadsheet URL or ID to the middle step one, allow the access, and it fills out. Okay. But now I cannot get these values from the obvious import range. This is the import range that I have on the source. So again, let me copy that, open it incognito. 
right? Here's all the values I have. And if I copy this import range, same as before, move it over here and try to do G2 through H. It's going to load, but it's not going to load anything. There's nothing in that location of the middle step. Call that whatever you want, but it's this little holding place to make sure the formulas cannot be gathered. The source material for those for those formulas cannot be gathered anyway. So for most, we can just rely on a on two sets of import range, one set of import range, apologies. So it's a source document where inputs are located. It's a formulas document, which actually contains the tables and other data, data sets we have and the formulas that we care about. And then the output of that form of those formulas is brought back to the source document using an import range. If you need one more level where no one else can get to those, take this middle step, copy everything, all the, all the output values from the formulas, import range them here, and then use this as the source for the import range back to this area.